I know there's a lot of back and forth that goes on with the automakers to make sure that the design comes out correctly. And you've said before, when you go to 164 scale, you're not just putting it into uh, some kind of shrink ray system, right? I mean, uh, and you know, it goes from big to all of a sudden small. It's it's a really difficult uh, process to scale it down 64 times. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's it's weird because you would think that's what you do is you take sort of the files that that you you get or you know you you 3D scan the car and then you just kind of press the the shrink button and and you're done. But something funny happens when you do that, which is the car doesn't look like the car it's supposed to look like. And, and at that scale, just your eye and the, the way you perceive the car is doesn't evoke the same emotions and the things that make the car special at that it's sort of one to one scale. So a lot of what we do um, and credit to the, the amazing um, design team uh, across across all brands. But but um, one of the things we do is really figure out where to push and pull those those uh, those proportions. And so a lot of our um, designers uh, on the team, we've got we've got a team of about, um, well, in total, 60 designers across the U.S. and in Asia and about um, 20 of those are focused purely on transportation design, sort of vehicle design. And and a lot of those um, folks did work at autom automotive manufacturers. So they worked at you know, Honda and, and Ford, uh, GM. Um, so we've got people who are, who again, are, are from the industry and very serious, but they're, they're looking at how to make that car come alive and, and really read at that smaller scale. So, you know, it could be pulling some fender flares out. It could be adjusting the rake of the car to be a little bit more aggressive at that scale, making the wheels a little bit bigger, um, you know, is always kind of a, a trick of the trade within Hot Wheels. Um, but yeah, it's it's not a one-to-one -one kind of shrink ray approach. And your designers, just to go back to that, uh, you mentioned transportation designers, industrial designers, graphic designers, toy designers. Mm -hmm. But for those who are coming out of the car world, they're going to be designing a lot of cars with you. And they're probably not just going to be designing a shift knob. <laughs> exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. That's the that's the beauty of of working on a brand. That's why you want to work there. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. It, it's it's funny because that's exactly what um you know a lot of the team members say who have come from auto manufacturers. It, it's it's great experience, and I'm I'm sure um you know re great to have in the resume and amazing, but you can get stuck working on the shift knob or or working on the 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 side view mirror. Whereas if you're working on on Hot Wheels, you're you're cranking out car designs, you know, uh, every every week. Um, so it's it's a lot of fun. It's a great creative outlet, and uh, kind of lets a lets you see what you're producing as well, because you're not working on the same car for three to five years.